Shut up and sit down. Hey everybody, this is Tony Day. I wanted to make this video real quick to show you an issue with the Blackmagic Pocket 4K. And uh, I think it's actually with any of the Blackmagic cameras using the Color Science version 4 and how you can fix it at least in RAW. So I was doing a low light test and one of the things I wanted to look at was how bad the red channel clipping was gonna be because I'd seen that. I don't know how many times in like basically every video that I've seen of low light testing on the streets, any brake lights or any of the red uh, stop lights ended up having this really ugly redness to them and there's like a lot more noise than in everything else and they just kind of like pop out as these really ugly things. So in this shot, uh, this is obviously a, a close-up of it so that you can see the issue a little bit better but what happens is that, and I'll zoom in a little so you can see, it almost looks like spaghetti sauce has been thrown over my image. Like anywhere that this red is hitting, it just looks terrible. So, um, this doesn't mean that it's completely ruined. If this was in ProRes, I'm not sure how much uh, I would be able to, to fix this. Every camera has their own issues, but th this is really ugly. I mean, I've, I've seen some really bad like blue channel clipping and, and red channel clipping in my life, but this, I've never seen it where like it's reflected off and looking this bad. Like compared to everything else, like everything else looks so good. Like everything else looks so good in the shot, except for this one area that I was like, what, what the crap is going on? So evident, evidently, if you look down here in the color science, uh, this is shot in CDNG 4.1. The version 4 has this issue. Like, that's what I hear. In order to fix that, uh, what you need is to create a color space transform node and then use these settings uh, to make sure that you've got the right color space going on. And then when you get to gamut mapping, select saturation mapping. And then when you do that, you can futz around with the knee and the, the max to the saturation max to get it to where you want. And then when you do, you, well, I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna turn it on and you'll see that it cleans it up straight away. Like this cleans it up pretty nicely. Um, it, I mean, I could always tint this more like away from magenta or whatever if I wanted to but that ugliness and the spaghettiness of this area is pretty much gone. And when it's playing, like this is just a still frame and I'm not sure if the YouTube compression is gonna show you how bad it really looked. But basically, if I zoom out, um, this area was so bad that even in the full frame of view, I could like, my eye was just drawn straight to it like every single time, it was so ugly. I'm like kind of person that says if your if your image um, is noisy, but people aren't even looking at that, and it's not that distracting, then it's not a big deal. This is so ugly that it is like it is a problem. So I would recommend uh, using this method for now. And if you're shooting with anything like this redness in your shot, um, especially from brake lights or from stop lights, I really do recommend shooting in RAW, at least RAW 4.1 for now so that you can do this method. I'm not sure, I've, I've seen, I haven't tested it, but I have seen that other people using ProRes, this doesn't work as well. But in RAW, you have so much more flexibility that I do think that, you know, just to be safe, if you're doing a YouTube video or something, obviously it's probably not gonna matter, but if you're doing something professional with this, definitely shoot in RAW because this is, I mean, I mean, really, nobody wants this, okay? Nobody wants this, this, this crap, okay? It's so ugly, I don't even know what to say. So, you know, even close, even this close up, you can see immediately how much of a difference it makes. So I hope you found this informative and please let me know if you've got any questions below and I'll help out if I can.